Hi guys. Uh, friends and family gold or garbage. This is where friends or family have given me stuff. Uh, it's either broken and needs fixing or it's just stuff they're getting rid of. Uh, this was from my daughter. And I've put batteries in it. I've taken them out again, but I put batteries in it and it does seem to work. I've had a good search online, Googled it. I can find similar. It's one of those ones that projects the time up on the ceiling or on the wall. I can find similar. I can find another one, a science museum one. But it's actually got five buttons across the back instead of four. I can't actually find the instructions for this specific one, but I think they're going to be fairly similar. She didn't give me a power supply to go with it, so I've had a hunt through my boxes full of power supplies, because I do have rather a lot of them stored away. I actually found one. It says 4.5 volts. This one is 4.5 volts, 80 milliamps, and... It happens to have the right size plug on it, and it does work, but we'll get to that in a minute. So we'll put that away for now. So it is a clock. Um, it also does temperature and humidity. And reading the comments on some other people's um, videos, uh, well, People don't rate it, but never mind. Novelty value. I mean, it'll probably tell you what temperature is like in the room that you're in, more or less. It's got something stuck on it. I could probably do with a bit of a clean, obviously. That's filthy. You can adjust the focus by twisting that. I did that when I tried it out, and that seemed to work. This little bracket comes off. Uh, I think that's about it, really. Oh, and batteries go in here. So, double A uh, triple A batteries. Put them in. Oh, little beepy noise. And we have some, a bit of a display. I uh, can't see particularly clearly because we're in a, a light room. But yeah, we've got time set to zero, 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 zero. Humidity, 49%. Temperature, 24.4. Uh, it might pay me to go and do this somewhere a little bit darker, because you can't see anything there, can you? If I put the power supply on it, then it is quite a bit brighter. Without the power supply, it times out. So you have to press the button on the top to actually see the display. But if we put power on it, it's a bit brighter. But yeah, I'll, I'll move it into somewhere a bit darker so at least we can see what's going on. All I'm going to do is see if I can set the time and date. The usual thing is hold in the mode button until the numbers flash and then press up and down to get what you want. Uh, we need to set the time and the date and the year. Yeah, I'll, I'll do this in a darker room so we can actually see the display. There's a picture of the sun and some clouds there. I'm not entirely sure what this thing is going across here. It appears to say degrees Fahrenheit per hour, whether it's a history one, it tells you what it was. So it says minus 12, minus 6, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, and 0 hours. Oh, that's degrees Fahrenheit going up there, and that's degrees centigrade going up there. Oh, I think that's the variation over the last, well, 12 hours whether it's gone up or down. Because mm. some of the 
sites call it a weather station. Some of them call it a thermo clock. Uh, yeah, all right, we'll move to somewhere a bit darker. Well, we're back at my computer desk. It seems to be the um, best location. Still got a bit of shadow going on up here or reflection. But better than we were in the other room. At least the screen's nice and bright. So, yeah, up here we have an image displaying the type of weather. So that's saying sunny with clouds. Time is obviously wrong. Humidity 49%, temperature 24.9 centigrade. I expect if I press the mode button, which is that one, that's mode, up, down, and maximum, minimum. Well, let's just press maximum, minimum. Does anything happen? Not at the moment. Uh, right, mode. Let's press mode button. That would appear to be alarm. I would think that's probably date or time. Yeah. Oh, calendar. Yeah. So, calendar, that's month, day. Alarm. And time. So if I hold the button in while it's on time. Okay, hour is flashing. Uh, it's actually... Uh, what time is it? Uh, about five past four. Four, okay. Press the button again. Now on minutes. What should I say? Five past four, didn't I? Go back the other way. Six minutes past four now. Okay, but is that AM or PM? Doesn't seem to give us a choice there. Oh, I suppose if I hold that in again, and then we go all the way up on the hours, we'll see whether it goes past 12. Oh, it does. Okay, in that case, you want 16. 16.06. And it's now 16.07. Okay, so that's the time set. If I press the mode button on the back again, that's now months and days. So if I hold that in, 2006, we want to go up from that. Twenty-four month. We've just gone into June, haven't we? June. The first. Yes, it's saying Saturday, so that part's okay. So we've set the time and date. Press that button, the mode button again. So that's calendar. Press it again. So we're now on alarm. Alarm set to nothing. I've no doubt if I hold that button in. Yeah, we got the hour flashing, so I could move the alarm up and down if I need it to. We'll leave it on there. How do we turn the alarm on? It's more to the question. I see. If I just leave it alone, it's gone back to the ordinary thing. Hold that button in. That's to set the time. Hmm. Don't know. Don't know how to turn the alarm on or off. What happens if I press the up and down buttons now? Ah, there we go. That's the up button. Switch the alarm on. Press it again. Alarm off. Okay, well that seems to work. So I have no idea what this is supposed to be telling me. It does appear to me that that's telling me what the temperature was 12 hours ago, 6 hours ago, 4 hours ago, 2 hours ago, 1 hour ago. 
Oh, that's three. Ah, 12, 6, 3, 2, 1, and 0. So I guess that's, that's has the temperature gone up or down? That's what I'm thinking anyway. Has the temperature gone up or down over the last 12 hours? And at the moment, because we've only just put batteries in, it's got no data to go by, so it's telling us it's steady. And that's it, really. Um, oh, I suppose we could look at this thing. Uh, if I shine it over the back there somewhere. Let's just move the camera. Right, we're sitting at my computer desk. So that's the time. And if I adjust the focus, can we adjust the focus? Yeah, that is adjusting the focus, but I need to adjust the focus on the phone, on the camera as well. Yeah, probably not a good place to do it. One of the complaints was this is pretty much useless that way up because you want it pointing either up at the ceiling or um, away from the clock. Certainly that will be useless upstairs next to my bed because that will be pointing in the wrong direction. That will be upside down. If I point it at the wall opposite. Does that look like that's in focus? It really looks in focus to me. Uh, I put it somewhere else. All right, let's see if you can see it over there. Yeah, it looks a bit bright, doesn't it? That's better. Okay. Obviously, if it was on the wall opposite, then it, the letters or numbers would be bigger. Ah, I can see very faintly up there. It actually says PM, so I, I expect there's an option to change it between 24 hour and... 12 out hour if you had the instructions because at the moment obviously i've got it on 24 hour clock there uh as if i press the mode button again we're on 16 Hold the mode button in. No, I don't seem to have an option to change it to 24 hour. Ah, wait a minute. No, no, that wasn't it. I was wondering whether it was different on the, dis on the projected display, but it's not. Uh, let's try the... Oh, pressing the down button, down, is swapping between Fahrenheit and centigrade. Oh, let's go back in focus close up. Yeah, down button is swapping between centigrade and Fahrenheit. And I'm guessing that other button that said high and low probably changed the brightness of the display. Don't seem to be able to do much with it. Again, we're guessing here, but I seem to be right so far. 
Right, found some instructions for an almost identical one, one that's got five buttons that are instead of four buttons on the back. But what it said was hold the up button for three seconds while in normal display to toggle between um, 12 and 24 hour. So I think that's up. Hold it in one, two, three. Nope, that's not doing anything. Let's try the other one. One, two, there we go. That was it. So that was, oh, it was. That was the up button I held in for three seconds. And that went to 12 hour clock instead of 24 hour clock. So hold it in for another three seconds. One, two, oh, back to 24 hour clock. One, two, three. Yep, yeah, that's it. So that's all the buttons covered. Um, yeah, I'll probably put those instructions that I found. They're not exactly the right ones, but they're close. I'll put them on the end of the video. That's projecting it up onto the ceiling. And it focuses nicely. Well, almost. See the number one's a little bit faded. That might just be it needs cleaning. I figured out the maximum minimum button as well. That was the fourth one over there. Press that and it shows us the maximum and minimum humidity and temperature. I don't know what period it's over. I could only guess it's 12 12 hours, but press it once, it says maximum 50, temperature 26, press it again, minimum 47, temperature 24.4, press it again, back to the current situation. Yeah, well, there you go. So I think we've covered all the buttons now. So thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, leave us a comment so I know I'm doing, and somewhere up here there'll be some links to related playlists, thanks again.